Myth number one, it's impossible to ace with one single bullet if enemies are full HP. Myth busted, AWP is the only weapon that can do it. If you manage to headshot your enemies and that's just one of the 40 myths we're gonna test out in this video. Myth 2, different player models have different head hitbox sizes. It used to be a thing in CSGO where head hitboxes had up to 16% size difference, but so far in CS2, head size variation is not a thing. At least on a hitbox level, use whatever model you like. It won't make you an easier target to hit. This is just a myth. Although on average, CS2 head hitbox boxes are around 20% bigger than CSGO ones, watch out! Next up, some say weapon pullout is audible to other players, just listen. It's not. This one is confusing especially to beginners because in your own POV view you can hear that those weapon and nade pullouts make noise, but those audio cues are only played for you, not for others. Myth number 4, you can silent jump. No, you can't, as even our new fancy radar circle shows that every jumping makes noise. Obviously, if one walks and jumps, they can be quiet and hard to hear, especially if there's action around you. But technically, whoever talks about silent jumping is lying to you. Myth 5. EU players are better than NA players. That's true. Myth number 6. If you have armor, you take less damage within the fire. Let's put that statement onto test. It's wrong, armor doesn't matter at all, you're gonna take the exact same damage. Next up, leg shots are always worse than going for body slash head shots. Let's say it's a pistol round where people buy armor, in that case it takes 6 body shots to kill a player, but only 4 leg shots, so aiming for legs do make a lot of sense in that case. If you wonder, then head shot is obviously one shot kill in that scenario. But if your enemy didn't have armor, it takes only 3 body shots, so aiming for legs is only better when enemy has armor. By the way, what's interesting here is that it took 4 lower leg shots to kill an enemy, but if I aimed higher at the thigh area, it took 5 shots in total, so depending on the exact height, it could take 4 to 5 leg shots and aim lower if you go for legs. Now some say you can hide your bomb, and this is true, you can indeed hide a bomb with certain objects like this cone. Bomb blinking is still visible, but covering the bomb itself could add some extra time onto CT's bomb finding time, and sometimes 2 extra seconds is all you need to win the round. You don't need to jump off from silo, yes you can just run, no strafes needed and still land on the main roof. Yeah, I done it yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> but why did you do it? YouTube.com falls like Nade King told me to do it, guys. Oh my god. Tenth myth. If you want to knife someone, you can always do that with two left clicks plus one right click. This is indeed the quickest way to get a knife kill, but you have probably seen that sometimes it doesn't equal a kill. It's because when slicing, first slice deals 34 damage, while all following ones deal 21. So you need your very first slice to hit your enemy, and it takes some time to reset before the first slice deals proper damage again. In order to 100% kill someone with two slices plus right click, make sure to not slice in the air, as this will reduce your first slice damage. Now myth number 11, you can't help falling off from a 3 man tower, you might know that developers have made it so if you build a 3 man tower, the top guys start sliding at the direction they are facing at. This is to prevent tall towers in the middle of nowhere, but there are still plenty of spots where skyboxes hold you in place and you can create cool boosts. However, if the top guy walks, AK holds shift, the sliding is way slower, meaning that you can help yourself staying on the top for a longer period of time by simply always walking up there, so you actually can help yourself on the tippity top of the tower. Myth 12, you can mask the fusing sound, this is kinda true, in CS2 it's harder than in CSGO, but what we found out is that whenever the distraction sound is happening close to a bomb, it's almost impossible to fully mask the diffusing sound, but if you manage to get your teammate shoot a loud gun next to an enemy who is supposed to hear the diffuse, or you manage to throw a flashbang or nade close to them, they won't be able to hear the diffusing sound. What's interesting is that flash can pop behind the wall, but the ringing sound will still most of the times mask the diffuse. By the way, the good old smoke plus molotov shh is very quiet in CS2 and won't really cover anything super general. Does quick switching make your reload faster? A lot of people do that because they think it skips part of the animation and you can get to shoot your gun faster. 
But if we compare it, then the best you can get out from it is the exact same time than actual reload. But at the same time, you're risking with the fact that your shooting is gonna be a bit delayed or you don't properly reload at all. Bomb damage is based on radius only. This one is true. It doesn't matter how thick is the wall in between you and the bomb. The only thing that matters is the distance in between you and the bomb. This is why you sometimes see ridiculous deaths. Looks like he will do so. Oh no! I was planning on B. Uh, yeah, well, we can talk about that at another time. And just to illustrate this thought, you can die in banana when bomb is planted A. And you can die on A on dust too when bomb is planted in B. Crazy stuff. Next up, peeking with left or right eye is the same. No, it's not. The right eye peek is still a thing. As you can see from our little testing, distance to a first wall is the same for both ends. Yet the guy who peeks with the right side has a slight advantage as they can go for a clean headshot while their own head is hidden behind the wall. Myth 16, grenades and weapons can block bullets. As far as we tested, we could hit the objects, but they really didn't block any damage. To be fair, I'm surprised, as it used to be a thing in CSGO where objects blocked 100% of the damage at times and literally changed the outcomes of the games, but our testing showed that in CS2, seems like objects aren't blocking any damage, at least for now. There are way more than 3, 4, 5 grenade throwing distances. True, everyone knows left click, both clicks middle throw, and the right click shortest distance. And then if you hold left click and release right click, you can vary with longer throws. As you can see, a lot of potential distances. And if you hold right click and play with left click, you have different shorter throw variations. This of course means you can go full range and pick whatever length you need. I'm fairly sure if standing still and just playing with your mouse clicks, one can achieve more than 30 different distances. Diffusing looks always the same. Nah, in CS2, the wires are different depending on whether one has a kit or no. Without the kit, the wires are yellow and blue. With kit, the wires are green and blue. That's a great visual hint to know how much time do you have as a T. By the way, CTs diffuse a bomb by randomly finding bomb code numbers one by one. Not impressive. Can chickens block flashbangs? Yes, they can. Just like in CSGO, where it ruins some of the epic pro plays. Pop. Both Molotov and Incendiary deal more damage when they have been longer on the ground. Yes, it's correct. And that's why when you want to deny a rush with fire, you don't want to throw it too deep. Because the more it has been on the ground, the more damage it does. Also, it might throw your enemies off when they see a different type of molly like that. But it's 250 IQ. Now they say you can drop bombs silently, nar, in CS2 bomb always makes a beep sound. It even beeps on the couch here in Palace where it used to be completely silent in CSGO. T molotovs deal more damage than incendiary grenades, myth from OG times, that is simply not true. Myth 23, when you use skins, their exterior will get worse in time. The truth is, skin floats in the game are permanent, once skin is unboxed, all the details, the pattern, the float, these will all be permanent values and they won't change with time. There will be more headshots in CS2, at least the percentage will be higher. According to numbers from our first tier 1 CS tournament, this is true. At IEM Sydney, the headshot percentage was 5% higher, most likely due to MR12, shorter games and less op rounds. But if you didn't skip the beginning of the video, you know head hitboxes are also roughly 20% bigger than in CSGO. And if we combine all that information, we can be sure we're gonna see more headshots in CS2. Sometimes you can see stuff through walls, of course. Weapons with silencers deal more damage when they don't have a silencer on them. Even Mastermind Monacy uses USP often without the silencer, but in reality, damage is the same. I would still use silencer myself as it makes you way harder to locate when you shoot. But if you take silencer off, your weapon is shorter and therefore you can hide behind small corners better. I guess that's the main advantage when playing without the silencer. Picking up stuff makes noise, yes, if you run, it does. However, if one would be fully sneaking, they could also pick up stuff completely silently. But in general, if you're loud, then the pickup is also audible. And there can be even an occasion where you walk, but release walk just when you're about to pick up an item. So only the pickup is audible. One can see shadows through the smokes and also on the smokes. 
Next up, you can climb onto Triple on Mirage. That's an OG self boost that wasn't working for a while, but now Valve fixed it again. It seems to be a bit harder to get onto it in the heat of the moment though. And if retaking from CT, watch out for a head over there. Bomb ticking sounds in A and B bomb sites are different. Just listen. Indeed they are. Myth number 31, grenades do more damage when exploding at the head height. This is true. If I place the grenade perfectly onto legs, then an enemy remained 46 HP. And if I manage to explode the grenade very close to their head, they survived with 40, 41 HP. So around 5 HP difference. And in some cases, this could be a match deciding factor. Nova shotgun can be used as low key sniper as it's surprisingly good from even middle to long range. Chomping is audible and there's no way to mask it. Nar. In current CS2 build, shooting masks chomping sounds way better than they did in CSGO. Just listen to this. Yes, they can hear the shooting, but the fact the same guy is now on balcony is for sure surprising. Myth 34, you can destroy door with the Zeus, that's right, if door is damaged enough, it works flawlessly and it could help you to throw a curveball in a clutch situation for example, as you can get through the door without the usual eek. Now can grenades collide in the air? Some people think they can, but we are fairly sure they can't. As you can see, grenades are doing some David Copperfield stuff and simply go through each other. Now even some pros think this wall on nuke is spammable. No it's not. Whatever weapon you use, it's not going to work. Yet people do it all the time. If you're using a weapon that doesn't have one shot headshot capability, you might have hard times to double dink at certain angles because of the head animation. For me, the head punch seemed stronger if I'd hit more the top of the head. Anyways, the reality is, at some angles, it's pretty much impossible to double dink people. Alrighty, you can throw grenades while defusing. Yes, right click is very self explanatory, but what most people don't know about is that you can also throw left click nades. Just start with holding right click, then hold left click, release the right click, and finally release the left click to enjoy the maximum distance, simple as that. It's easier to put out fires in CS2, even if smoke pops at the very edge of the Molotov, it usually denies it. There are obviously some cases where it doesn't, but the situation is way safer than in CSGO, where you needed to put your smoke in the bullseye in order for it to work. Enjoy! Fake reloading is a myth, because the sound simply gives it away. When someone goes for the full reload, you can hear the full reload sound. If they skip the reload, then also the sound will be cut. And this is how you're gonna know when someone is trying to fool you. Myth 41, as I like to over deliver, YouTube thinks this video on the screen right now suits the best for you to watch next. And flashes that are popping far away from enemy don't actually blind them, play smart 